All right, so we will go in and grab the tier tier three one, and we'll pop this since we're in world tier four. And now we must go back to the infernal hordes of hell with beef jerky. All right. Wave O of five. So you pop it and just start like immediately. Okay, begin wave one. All right, I'm digging it. This is neat. Almost done. There's a soul spire. Okay, so that's kind of like the spire from the hell tide. That's pretty sweet. Okay. I'm guessing killing them. Oh, we got to gather. Oh, we got to actually walk over the aether. Okay. What was that? Oh, so the wave timer is just there anyway. So you just got to survive the whole wave. <clears throat> okay. Not bad. We're still on wave one. Okay, so one birthing, one birthing aether. That's it. Okay, the infernal offer. Select an infernal offer to invoke boons and banes. Clear enough waves, you may challenge the fell council. Open your map to view your current boons and banes. Okay. So let's see. We have normal monster damage is increased, but killing them spawns aether events. Hellborn are hunting you. Hellborn grant plus one aether. Slaying. Some masses slow me. While slowed, I have unlimited resources. Uh, I guess Hellborns? I guess. Okay, we'll try that. Begin wave two. All right. Nick, I'm not sure if they did or not. All right. We're blasting through these, dude. This is only a tier three, but this is the first time I've been through this. Okay. Oh, come on. All right, Spire's gone. Nice. So you only get one Aether? I got 36 Aether. Okay. Very interesting. And then if I salvage one. What's this over here? Oh, that's right. Hellborns. That's right. They're hunting me. Dude, this mode's kind of cool. Very nice. God, man. You know what I'm hungry for for dinner? I'm hungry for something. I don't know what. I'm hungry for something. So far, I'm kind of digging the mode, though. I'm digging the mode. Chris, Demon. Demon said he needs more mobs. Okay. All right. So let's see. Elite damage, Aether Fiends gain. Okay. Hellfire rains upon you at the end of each wave. I'm going to go with that. Screw it. Tacos and Corona. Ooh. And then watch. Then watch. Uh. Gosh. What movie? Uh. Oh, my God. 
There we go. There we go. Alright, so far, very, very cool. So far, very cool mode. Very cool mode. It is taking a while. This does take a while. I wonder what tier 8 is like over tier 3. Oh, the masses. Okay, that's what they consider that. All right. Um, I don't like running over my Aether. My pet should auto-collect this. So hopefully that'll get changed for Season 5. Okay. The hellfire that rains down upon thee. Ooh, exalted hellborn. Masses deal unavoidable damage. Normal monster damage. Yeah, yeah, we want that. We want we want more of the events. Nice. Okay, I dig it. I dig the Banes and Boons. This seems cool. Um, I wish that we could see a list of all of them. Probably have to log it to really... To really do it. I know I'm overpowered for the Tier 3, but... Just for just for to see this, this is my first time experiment or uh, like experiencing the the new mode. Yeah, dude. And then watch Top Gun Two, Project Mary. Uh, those bars are my health and resource bars. Soul Spy. Uh, So part of me would like this to be instead of just a timer and you surviving the wave, like either slow down the timer, give me monsters or enough to fill up like a bar. But I guess it would be the same, right? So you just want to survive. So really there just needs to be more mobs, right? If they're going to have a timer and you got to survive the whole time, it just needs to be more mobs. Like they got to spawn faster or more events or whatever it is. But I am, I mean, I am enjoying this. This is, this is pretty cool. Um, Hellfire spawns Hellborns. Ooh, Aether Lord on death. Okay. So we get eight tiers or five waves. Okay. Oh. And I just killed the Nathan Lord. He just died. So I got 75. Come here, Hellborns. Yeah, maybe mobs need to spawn faster. I'm not sure. I also noticed that no mobs drop any kind of health potions. So that's interesting. So I guess you don't... You don't get a, to replenish your health potions, so once they're gone, they're gone, which is interesting. However, I am digging this, man. This is nice, dude. Sorks are sorks are so bad. And after losing Perma Flame Shield, they're just in such a bad spot. Like, if, if if no changes come to Sork, like, no, like, big damage buffs next season, I probably won't play Sork in Season 5. I'm digging this wave thing, though. This game mode is pretty... This end game mode is pretty good. Now, I do already know about the issues of the resources, so... All right, Council Gate. Step forward and kill the Fell Council. Let's go. 
I like that they lead it up and then you get a health pot. Nice. All right. Confront the infernal hordes again by finding more infernal compasses. <clears throat> infernal compasses can be found in hell tides, nightmare dungeons, and infernal hordes. Nice. They have tiers. Higher tiers offer great rewards and a tougher challenge. Upgrade infernal compasses by using abyssal scrolls. Nice. So, what's this? Oh, so we could exchange all remaining aether, which is 82 for gold. We could unlock equipment, 250 for greater, and then 25 for materials. Now, <clears throat> I only have 82, so we could see for gold, but let's see what it is for materials. I know that for equipment, you don't get a lot, so it, it's kind of nice. Uh, so let's, I guess tier three. I mean, I can get, I could get both of these. Let's see. Let's go to materials. So you get an abyssal scroll, a bunch of uh, gems, and then five obducite. And how much is that? Six veiled crystals. Oh, and then I did it again on accident. Okay. And you get one... And then we exchange all remaining for gold. Which that's probably like 766. Okay, so we gained like 400,000 gold. Uh, and then we got an Abyssal Scroll, which upgrades an Infernal Compass to the next tier. So if this is tier one, the scroll will upgrade it to tier two. So very interesting. Um, I'm missing a gear piece here. It's on my map. I just can't see it. Well, and then you get your sash. So that is the Infernal Hordes, man. First time playing it. I know it was only a tier three, but I do know about the lack of a rewards that you get from this. So although I do like the the game mode itself until the rewards are buffed it definitely seems like a very lackluster a very lackluster thing so hopefully that'll get buffed in season five wow but yeah so cool like guys subscribe comment down below let me know what you guys think about the infernal hordes and don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming and i'll see you guys in the next one peace